And I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. But sometimes you have a little rain cloud in your head. A sad poem can give the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. <laughs> Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and charms all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're out shopping, cleaning, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Bottles, bottles. I used to read Word Up magazine, salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Okay, I heard this game was pretty scary though. Whatever, let's hop into it. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Because I'm a true pal like that. Huh? Huh? I overslept again? But I caught you this time. Have you decided on a club to join yet? Club? I told you, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Yes, let's go! Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. The lollies! All words escape me in this situation. I can't blame you, guns. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Pocky. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry, I think she wants me. Feels Don't worry, they're all 18. All of them, degree they're degree. They're all 18? <sighs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Well, I know what's worthwhile. I know what's worthwhile. That hairstyle. <laughs> I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. All four girls stared back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm? Guns! And how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right? Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the li- This guy's such a beta! This can't be the real guns! I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright. Oh, it's time to write a poem! Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might, might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay, first of all, I have to decide who I like the most. And I think it's that purple haired chick. And I forgot her name, but... Oh, Yuri? That's her name? Hey, see? I know what Yuri likes. I know what she's about. Horror, that's pretty obvious. Eh, I think Extreme would get her going. Ah, I was right again. See, I'm the mind reading king. I know this woman. I want I want to do something different with this one. I want to see who likes pain. She's into the pain. She's a masochist. Death? Dude, who who likes death? Let's see who's messed up. Oh, she's so messed up. She's so messed up, dude. Graveyard? The girl on- Yo, Yuri better like Graveyard. That's what I thought. This is the last word. Explode? Hmm. Let's go for Lollipop. Oh, okay, that was- that was stupid of me. Catch a glimpse of the cover of her book? It looks like the same book that she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. Mm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading the company. It says if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. 
Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not look actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead! This girl wants me, dude! I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's. Then hold my book more between the two of them? Am I good? Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching? Bro, I don't know how much more I can take of this. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so I use my right hand instead. I switch hands over the sh- Ooh. The angle! Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger! Yo! I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. No, really. I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. I glance over at Yuri's ch face again, and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Cause she knows I'm ready to turn the page! <laughs> okay everyone. Wow Monica, way to interrupt the moment. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Breathing air of the present but living the past. The light flickens. I flicken back. That's fuego, dude! Got bars, Yuri. Well, that's because I had to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I like the way this girl thinks. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. I'm done. Alright, fine. Well, let's read it. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. That's what she said. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. That's what she said. Stretching forever into everything, that's what she said. A hole of infinite choices, that's what she said. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. That's what I said. I was looking out. That's what she said. And he on the other side was looking in. That's what she said. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trust to me are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? Ooh! Rhymes? Actual bars? Yeah! How terrible is that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Uh, um. Yuri lifts her head. Guns! I really like being friends with you. That's a start. We all gotta start somewhere, my boy. Hey. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. <laughs> Slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus reading on, on reading like this? Poggers! Y Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle! Panic Yuri opens a book with both hands. It's a cutscene! She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate 
and I hold it up to Yuri? I hold it up to Yuri! She doesn't even look away from the book, she simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely normal. I'm going in! I'm getting in! But that means I can't stop there. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth! Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, guns... S sorry. I, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's... Well... You were just helping. That's something that friends do. Right? I mean... The situation has gotten really tense. No, really! No, really! Wait, wait, wait. Yuri tries to return to the book. But I can tell just by her expression that she can't even focus now. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Okay, everyone. Ugh. Monica? Why? Why? Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Guns, can you help Yuri put away the tea stuff? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. Oh my goodness, dude. Why, Monica? Let's do it. Do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah, I do. If it's with you. The raccoon. Oh, I'm ready for this heat, my boy. I'm ready for this heat. The raccoon. The raccoon. Lil Yuri. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my. <laughs> I can't do it, dude! Actually broke, dude. All right, I, I need to try that again. But hold up, let, let me let me grab my composure first. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon is fed, will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife as was a symptom. The bread, what my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to follow me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian condition. I slice the bread, and I feel, and I feed myself again. <sighs> um. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. This girl is so cute. Bottles! Dude, her poem's title is Bottles! What hot beat are we gonna do now? Wait, when do I go in? Dude, nah, this beat is trash, bro. Give me a lit trap beat. Alright, alright. Bottles, bottles, bottles. Bottles, bottles, bottles. Bottles, bottles, bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little 
balls of sunshine All rubbing together like a bundle of kittens I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste I put it in a bottle to keep it safe And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles All in a row my collection makes me lots of friends Each bottle of starlight to make amends Sometimes my friend feels a certain way Down comes a bottle to save the day Bottle, bottle, bottle Night after night, more dreams Friend after friend, more bottles Deeper and deeper, my fingers go Like exploring a dark cave Discovering the secrets, hiding the nooks and the crannies Digging and digging, scraping and scraping I blow off dust off my body caps it doesn't feel like time will lapse. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. <sighs> Gotta take a breath, it's too fuego for me. Finally all done, I open up the income, my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other. Holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. Sayori, did you really write this? It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack Mr. Magic Molly Mall.